talking about tourism today. We're making way for our tomorrow. Tourism today. It's our Bahamas tourism today. She brought the vivid colors of this destination boldly to life. Yes, that's what these international meeting planners are saying about Educulture's Arlene Nash Ferguson after enjoying her all-encompassing introduction to the Bahamas. I thought the culture of the first uh, presentation was excellent, uh, knowing where um, people are coming from and the, West a the combination of the West African and, and British uh, colonial type uh, I thought that was very, very interesting, and uh, I think a lot of our groups would love to come and, and learn more about the culture, and of course, you know, see the most beautiful beaches in uh, in this area. Stephen Cook, who has visited the Bahamas more than 20 times, says that he has seen Mrs. Nash Ferguson's presentation before, and yet he still found it fascinating. I've actually used Miss Nash before. About five years ago, maybe even six years ago, we were trying to introduce the cultural element to the audience. And uh, it was proposed that Ms. Nash come and speak to us about Junkanoo and the heritage and the history. And I have to tell you, the 300 people we had at Atlantis that morning, actually at lunch, really enjoyed that. And that became a legacy aspect of programs going forward, bringing in a person who was a local educator, a local historian, who brought the real color of the destinations. I really enjoyed the uh, cultural education with um, Arlene Nash Ferguson. Really gave me an overall perspective of the islands and everything you have to offer here. And of course, experiencing it at firsthand really allows me to be able to understand what we can do for our customers bringing them down to this area. The former principal of St. John's College and owner of Educulture Bahamas Limited says that history has always been the passion of hers. Nash Ferguson says she firmly believes that when people have a context in which to view things, they are better able to understand and appreciate. What I try to do in a very short 10 to 15 minutes is to give our visitors an overview of the culture of the Bahamas, those traditions that we have retained from our colonial days, those traditions that we celebrate from our African heritage. And so when you put it into a big picture, they are able, as they move around the islands, to understand, as I like to say, who we is and why we do certain things that we do. For the Tourism Today Network, I'm Gina Seeley.